Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I get my hair from straight. It was straightened. It's like in real crusty. It's been a week since I washed my hair. Usually when I straighten my hair, I will just have it cute for like probably four or five days and then my scalp starts getting greasy, my ends start getting crusty because I don't wrap my hair or anything when I go to sleep. I just go to sleep like this and then I wake up and it looks like this. And this is not my hair fix, obviously. I woke up like this and my hair is like this from me curling my hair and then wearing braids in it yesterday. It's just looking crusty. I wanna show you guys how I revert back to my natural curls. Usually my hair is in its natural state, which is curly. So I'm gonna show you guys how I get my hair back from this crustiness. I'm gonna try to show you guys some tips and tricks and how I get my hair back to curly. So the first thing that I do is I take the, this coconut oil. I just used the one from Walmart and we got this big ass blend. I use it for my body and my hair. I'm just gonna slather my hair with coconut oil and then just put it in a bun and wait like 30 minutes and then wash my hair. Probably start with the ends cause that's the part of my hair that really gets dry. I do need a haircut, but I ended up chopping like an inch off of my hair myself. So yeah, let's just side this on and I do mean slather and then comb it through, put it in a bun and bam, a little oil treatment. Just leave it like this for a little while. Let that coconut oil moisturize and soak into my hair. And then we are gonna be back. So I am fresh out the shower. I got dressed and drew on my eyebrows right quick. So let's me comb through my hair. Let's see how this is looking. Run through it with this super wide tube comb and then this one. Just to see. My hair feels short because like I told you guys, I cut my hair an inch. And you know the shrinkage is real, but that dead hair had to go. So this is my hair after the shower. You guys saw what products I used. In the shower, I just washed my hair with that shampoo and conditioner. And then I put my favorite product. It's actually almost done. Everybody in their mama's talking about this and sponsored by them. It's almost finished. Oh, it smells so good. I put this in my favorites video last month so good it's like so good for your hair too it doesn't have any um things that are bad for you inside so before what i used to do was i would wash it and then i would just put the products in do my normal wash and go because that's what i always do to achieve my hair i just put products in my hair and then i'd be on my way i used to do that and the curls just didn't look great and they got frizzy in like a day. So I just learned to stop doing that. So what I do instead to nourish my hair is I'll slather um, some type of deep conditioner on it. Right now I'm just gonna put this as my first base. And then I'm gonna use my Cantu leave-in conditioner and I'm just going to braid my hair. Sometimes I'll just leave it out like this. The curls won't be cute. And I'll just put it in a ponytail or something, but today, I really want that extra moisture just because my ends have been super duper dry. So I'm gonna put this leave-in conditioner towards the bottom of my hair. And then I'm gonna just braid up my hair. A lot of you guys have asked me how I achieve my braids. And trust me, it takes me a long time sometimes to get it right. Hopefully today's not one of those days because I'm not a good braider. I know I do regular braids. French braids and cornrows, that's a whole nother story. 
<laughs> so I'm just going to put that. And I'm also going to put a little bit more coconut oil in my hair. Just to make it nice and shiny. And then tomorrow, I will just go about my regular wash and go process. And I ha do have a video on that, how I do my curly hair routine. You guys can check that out in the iCard. I'll also have it linked down below in case you are wondering. So yeah. Also, let me know down below. Do you guys want me to do a straight hair routine? I know I don't straighten my hair often, but in about a few weeks, maybe three or four weeks, I will straighten my hair and I will show you guys how I get my straight hair. If you guys are interested, let me know down below. I also do have a hair video where my sister did my hair, but unfortunately she moved away. So now it's just me that has to do my own hair. And my hair is, let me back up, down to here. It's like nipple. It was down here, but like I said, I cut a little bit off. It's because it needed to be done. So now I'm gonna braid up my hair and go about my day. braids come out I do lay down my edges usually just because I want it to be you know more smooth like I said I'm not the greatest braider as you guys can see it's not that great but I'm not gonna redo it because it's just for maintenance purposes so we got everything moisturized got deep conditioner coconut oil and it's all locked in there so that my hair can get re-moisturized after straightening it let's go to bed now I actually almost started taking this off before you guys got a chance to see it not that it's anything special my hair is actually still wet and it smells super good it's that coconut stuff that Garnier Fruities leave-in conditioner y'all like I said earlier y'all gotta try that but yes so usually I will put shift my hair out and then I like it because my edges are flat. So that's always helpful because if I really needed to, then I can let my hair down like this. It'll look a little bit more presentable, I guess. I don't know. And then before I go to sleep, I'll just tie it back up in a bun because I can't sleep with the braids. But I'm not going straight to sleep. We're about to film a reaction video for my vlog channel. If you guys are not subscribed over there, you definitely should doing a revamp of all of our content but yeah I'm gonna head to bed in a little bit and then I will come back tomorrow and show you guys what the final product looks like my hair looks a lot shorter than before I don't know to me you guys probably can't notice it's a little bit frizzy in certain spots but that's what always happens but as you guys can see my curls are really defined and they're always super defined in the front this is where my good hair is. But yeah, so this is how my hair comes out after I do that whole process. It feels healthy and it looks pretty shiny and nice. And I like how it came out. I'm actually going to dye my hair soon. So be on the lookout for that video. I'm going to dye my hair and do like a girl chat type of video with you guys. But hopefully you guys got some good tips on what to do. I definitely would suggest after you straighten your hair, and every time you wash your hair to like seal the moisture in your hair by putting cold or very cool water in your hair, I think that really helps. So that's my best tip that I could give to you guys. And I definitely don't put heat on my hair too often. Just a little bit, maybe like once or maybe twice a month. That's pushing it, but like once a month. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I figured I would just film a quick little video and show you guys and take you through the process of me doing my hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you turn on your post notifications, hit that bell, and you can get notified every single time I upload a video and subscribe and show you girls some love. 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.